cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of illness and death in the United States. Statins help prevent cardiovascular disease in patients who have already had an event, but their use in patients who have never had but are at risk for cardiovascular disease remains controversial. Now, the United States Preventive Services Task Force, an independent volunteer panel of national experts in prevention and evidence-based medicine, recommends that adults without a history of cardiovascular disease use a low to moderate dose statin for primary prevention of cardiovascular disease events and mortality if they're between 40 and 75 years old, have one or more cardiovascular disease risk factors, and if they have a calculated 10-year risk of a cardiovascular event of greater than or equal to 10%. The task force says that physicians can offer patients the option of using a low or moderate dose statin if they have the same risk factors but with a calculated 10-year risk of a cardiovascular event of 7.5 to 10%. Finally, they conclude that evidence is not yet sufficient to assess the benefits and harms of starting statins for primary prevention of cardiovascular disease events and mortality in adults age 76 years and older. The task force acknowledges that estimating 10-year cardiovascular risk isn't so straightforward. The pooled cohort equations from the 2013 ACC AHA guidelines on assessment of cardiovascular risk is the best currently available risk estimation tool, they say, but it may overestimate risk in some patients for unclear reasons. So they emphasize that the risk estimates should be the start of a conversation between doctors and patients about their risk of a cardiovascular event relative to the risks and benefits of starting statins and the patient's desires to begin lifelong statin therapy.